Hi everyone. Today we will continue our, or actually we'll finish the last recording for this class, which is week seven, which is text social analytics or text social data analytics. So in this uh, video today, we will briefly go through how we can extract data from Twitter, live data th from Twitter uh, through data mining tool that is orange and then we will analyze this data. We will uh, pre-process this data to clean it up and then we will run a sentiment analysis and word cloud. Uh, right, so let's get started. To do that, so we have already actually installed Orange software and the first thing is we will need to install the add-ons for text, for text in Orange. So let's start by turning on our orange software and then uh, we will need to go to options and then where it says add-ons then it will be retrieving so we have several here association rules this is a very interesting one so i will let you explore this as well um, there are text image uh, analytics geo analytics and so on but let's focus on text for this uh, session so you will need to click on this guy to make sure that you check the text and click OK. Then it will install the add-on really quick. It will ask you to restart Orange so you can restart it uh, very quickly. So now after you install uh, that add-on, you will have this tab where it says text mining. And then you will have actually access to all those widgets. So what we are really interested in here is to show a demo of Twitter. So I might have been, uh, so I will just drag the Twitter widget and then I'll click on it. As you can see here, the Twitter API uh, key is requested. So you have to click on this one and then this is what you will get. It will ask you actually to, uh, you will get a, uh, a pop-up that actually asks you to do this, uh, where it will ask you to enter the key and the secret. So to get the key and the secret, you will need to log into your account. So some of you might not have a Twitter account, but it's very easy to get an account. And for the worth, for the sake of this example, I think it is worth it to uh, have a Twitter account and you don't have to have any posts or anything. As long as you have an account with Twitter, it will allow you to extract this data. And it takes a, a, a process actually in order to get the key and in order to get the key and uh, the secret you will need to go to the apps on Twitter so to this website and now because of uh, the issues that have been happening especially with Cambridge Analytica they try to make it a little bit rigid or a little bit uh, robust uh, process for giving access to to such uh, data in Twitter uh, so you will need to apply for a developer account and then you can click on this guy so for me I already have so you will uh, insert all your information that they require from you and then when you get into this account onto this way you can click on apps and then when you are under apps you can click on details uh, so under details then you will be able to click on keys and tokens and this is where you will find the key and the secret so this process takes a while so I would highly recommend that you start this process uh, very early before the due date for this uh, e example or for this exercise because it might take maybe one hour or so for you to go back and forth to fill out the information that Twitter requires you to, to uh, in order to get access uh, for a developer account all right, so uh, it is actually doable. They just want explanation why you are needing this. So you can tell them this is a class exercise and they need it for a class exercise and they will understand I will give you access. So you will be able to click on your key and token and secret and uh, insert it into uh, Orange, into Twitter API account, and then you will be able to run. So what I did here is because uh, this is a hot topic that everybody is talking about last night and so on. Uh, this is what I did. So I, uh, we need to create a query word that we want to search. 
and I provided you with this link for a trend map so what is really going on right now at the moment what are the topics that are uh, hot as you can see so this is the topic that is going on today right now and it's about voting for Kavanaugh uh, so that's kind of also in the uh, Rio Grande Valley region right uh, so that's the and, and you got the idea uh, but let's see here the whole country what is going on what are the topics that are uh, covered so again this is so the the larger the word actually the 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 more frequent it is repeated in Twitter so you got the idea here what about uh, in the Middle East for example here it's all about Friday because that's in Arabic the Friday uh, prayer let's see what else is going on okay so that's uh, so th you get the idea now um, this is what I'm gonna do I will use only one keyword that I'm interested in so I put Kavanaugh because it is the the, the word of the day and then I uh, I limited my the maximum tweets that I can retrieve to only 100 this is just kind of to make it easier and faster but you can actually increase this number uh, there might not be a limit I haven't tried uh, as a large amount yet but for you feel free if you want to wait all right so uh, I think we are done now we can just click on search you will see now it is processing so it didn't take even a few seconds to retrieve 100 uh, tweets about that uh, keyword now um, I will, we we need we want to see actually those tweets because when you click on the Twitter this is what you get but to see what are the content of these uh, tweets you can click dr drag and drop a data table and then click on it and see what we have so this is what we are really interested in so this is the content of each tweet so you got the idea here 100 uh, tweets and you can read exactly what the tweets are saying all right and also you can t see the timestamp when they were and what exactly what is the exact time that it was tweeted and and so on all right and the language and so on so you got a lot of uh, information here that you might be interested in analyzing but we'll close this guy and now let's say that we want to see we have seen that the the table content but let's say that I am interested also in seeing what are the what are the keywords that are repeated in those tweets so to do to, to to know that I will need to go to text mining here and I can use word cloud so let's see that so as you can see here in the word cloud I have a lot of garbage I can say so I need to clean this garbage right the HTTPS uh, a number sign at and so on so it's not really giving me adding any value so I need to get rid of this guy uh, of those nonsense uh, characters right so one way to do that so I will I will delete or remove this link uh, one way to do that is actually a widget that is provided to us by orange it's called pre-processed text and this pre-processed text actually gives you transformation so it transforms those words in the tweets to lowercase removes accents parse HTML removes URLs and so on so it does all of this for us so this is really great and then tokenization also it does uh, a lot of cleaning for us so for example word and punctuation and also filtering it does a filtering for us stop stop words so there are some stop words there but you can include your own stop word and I will show you how we can include our own stop word here stop words so let's see now uh, what we have when we connect the pre-process to the word cloud and you will see how improved our data looks like so now it makes much better sense right so now we can see the most repeated word is the keyword that we put which makes sense and then the other words that are repeated as you can see here right all right so now uh, let, let's go back here to the stop word so I can upload my own stop word so I can just put a notepad text file and then I can just put my my stop word that I'm really interested in 
let's go back here to the word cloud to see what other words that we might want to get rid of that doesn't is not really important so la for example uh, n i c and so on all right so n i and then c so everyone in one word and one uh, one row uh, what else so those are kind of uh, n and then there, uh, there is n if you want http as i put there in in, in the handout so let's save this guy to our let's say desktop and i will call it stop words all right so i'll save this guy here now i close this guy and close this guy now i can go to the pre-process text and then I will upload this file from my desktop stop work all right so now let's run it and look at now I don't see the N I don't see the NI and so on so you get the idea so you can clean uh, and use the stop words that you are interested in so you get the idea here now let's move on to the next step so I might be stepping or not going through order but what we are really interested in is in running sentiment analysis so to run sentiment analysis we have a widget here for us so uh, I will connect this guy to the sentiment analysis and I will double click sentiment analysis because we have two different uh, sentiment analysis so we have the Vader so the Vader here it shows us the positive negative neutral and the compound um, uh, sentiment analysis or columns or variables as you can see and then we have the Liu Hu which gives us only one column that actually has negative uh, values or numbers for the values of negative sentiment and then if it is neutral that tweet or post was neutral then it's gonna be zero if it is positive it is gonna be positive number or numeric all right, so now uh, I will stick to Liu Hu because it, it makes better sense for me. I can analyze it much easier. All right, so now this is what we have. Now we need we need to see this sentiment analysis. It has already been done for us. So I want to see here the, the output of it. So those are our content. Those are the, the tweets. But what I'm really interested in is this column, the sentiment analysis. So the column, let's uh, organize it based on, let's say, positive versus negative. So let's see here. This one is positive, which is basically I was clicking on it to order it from, let's say, uh, large, small to large or large to small. So now you see this is very uh, positive. So it has all those keywords that trip. So peace, love, love again, again. So that's why it got a lot of uh, a lot of a large positive number uh, and then so let's look at the negatives so the negative let's see what people here said about about this so it's approve and why is danger so all those keywords here refer to negative sentiment so you got the idea here and then what we can do now so we have this data set now we can actually download this data set or save it and then you can analyze it in a uh, CSV or an Excel file. So what I did is I dragged the. All right. So one thing that we need to do before we save it is to make sure that you have selected the all files or because sometimes if you highlight only one column, then it will actually save only that column for you. So now we'll just make sure that I'm selecting the whole sheet here. And then uh, I can just let me remove this guy and bring it back so let's select this guy and then save it here as uh, sentiment analysis 2 all right so now let's uh, which is in my desktop so I'll go back to my desktop sentiment analysis 2 and let's open it and see what I have all right so now I have the sentiment analysis column here and then I have also the content here so I can see the content here but let's say that you want to analyze let's find out the average whether it is positive or negative which might help us kind of predict what will the vote will be for uh, for judge Kavanaugh so let's say 
groups. So I'll highlight all the, the cells there. And then as you can see here now it is it has positive uh, sentiment. So it might be uh, it might go let's go back one more time. So we'll just update everything. Again, because might have things might have uh, changed so far. Because right now it is eleven forty. Let's close the remove this guy one more time. Let's go one more. All right, let's do it one more time. Average. Okay, so now you can see that it is negative. It is overall, or the average sentiment is negative. So you get the idea. So for the sake of assignment, you can submit this file the excel file and also save this file save as and then submit to me and give it a meaningful name and submit those two guys all right so that was all i wanted to say and uh, we'll uh, see you uh, later and good luck this is the end of the the semester and it has been great working with you and i look forward to um, work with you and see you in person sometime in the future